What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this little bit dreary, rainy Tuesday. But it's still a nice day just the same. I'm doing pretty good myself. Uh, I come across this particular story right here about the young lady to the left of us. She's 24 year old uh, Tahavia Chapman. Okay. And Tahavia Chapman did a very, very bad thing based off of jealousy. All right, I mean, I'm telling you, that's exactly what it was from what, you know, the story reads. Uh, she actually came across her boyfriend's cell phone that he left in the car while they went to the store, you know, and uh, she went through the cell phone, allegedly, and found, you know, um, her sister's <laughs> text message where her man here that she ran over had been, you know, texting back and forth, I guess, some things that was inappropriate to her that made her fly into a rage, you know, to the point to where she took this, like, I don't know, three or four ton minivan right here. And uh, with her, I think, a uh, eight month old baby in the car and put the damn thing in drive floored it and aimed it at her boyfriend when he was coming out of the store. And uh, that's what we're finna to watch right now. You know, um, when she aimed it, she did hit him. Bad situation, okay? He wound up with a broken leg, but the man right here that was on his way in the store, he came out so much, you know, worse. Matter of fact, he wound up dead as a result of this girl's negligence right here. You know, so without further ado, let's watch a couple of videos, then we'll get into the story. video has no sound as you guys can see but as you can also see she ran that man over that was going inside with the store he was 58 year old uh, i can't remember his name but the story will tell he was already on a cane she had no regard for even hitting that man the only thing that she can see was getting over there to her boyfriend and beat him some more since he was disabled you know from being hit by the van She's in a lot of trouble, facing life in prison, could even get capital murder charges. Bad situation. Cincinnati woman is held tonight on a half million dollar bond after allegedly running down two men in a Kroger parking lot, killing one of them. Our David Winter has more details on what happened Wednesday night and more on that innocent bystander who was unfortunately killed. David. Yeah, Kylie, there's a story full of heartbreak and irony all the way around. The man killed was not even the alleged target, and he ran a nonprofit aimed at driver safety. A completely innocent victim that was struck by the defendant uh, while that victim was exiting Kroger's died from his injuries. Uh, that gentleman is depicted right here on his motorcycle. The assistant prosecutor at the bond hearing for 24-year-old Tavia Chapman. The picture the prosecutor was holding is this man, Scotty Griffith. My heart is just shattered, completely shattered. Molly B. True dated Scotty for five years, and even though they broke up in 2019, they remained close. She had texted him Wednesday. I saw that he hadn't read the text, so I had like a sick feeling in my stomach all day. And um, when I saw his friend Bill calling me, um, when I saw his friend calling me, I knew that something was wrong. This is cell phone video from the scene. Police say Ms. Chapman was arguing with another man at the Kroger in Spring Grove Village when she got in her minivan and tried to run him down. Police say she hit him, breaking his leg, but then also hit Scotty Griffith, who was in the wrong place at the wrong time. She thought she hit the brake, perhaps she hit the gas, um, and that's that there was no intent to harm anyone, let alone kill somebody. 
Chapman's defense attorney argued for a low bond. The prosecutor argued for a high one, citing two other cases, an arrest in 2020 for allegedly using a hammer to break her ex-boyfriend's windows, and an arrest last year for allegedly beating her seven-year-old daughter with a belt and punching her in the face. The hearing has been off since he can't be. Molly since spoke at the hearing himself. this morning. She wants to make sure there is justice for her friend, known well throughout the local music and motorcycle communities, who survived a motorcycle crash and fought back from paralysis, only to start a nonprofit to help others avoid getting hit by cars. Now, Molly says Scott Chapman used to be a sound man for Aerosmith and ZZ Top. He owned a well known motorcycle shop in Newport. And then there was that nonprofit, Look Twice Cincy. A lot accomplished in his 58 years of life, cut short in an ironic twist of fate. Kyle? All right, David, thank you so much. Tavia Chapman is charged with murder and two counts of felonious assault. Case of a woman accused of intentionally plowing down her boyfriend with her minivan in a Kroger parking lot. She also hit a pedestrian who later died. WCPO 9 News reporter Whitney Miller was there this afternoon as her charges were announced. Whitney. Yeah, Tanya, Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieter says it was jealousy and rage that led 24-year-old Tavia Chapman to put her foot on the gas. Now she's facing life in prison. I'm a little frustrated. Thursday, Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieters laid out what he believes led to the death of an innocent man last month in the Spring Grove Village Kroger parking lot. She took this three-ton vehicle and plowed into him and plowed into Christopher Griffith, a innocent man on a cane walking across a crosswalk. Dieters released the surveillance video of the crash. She says 24-year-old Tavia Chapman was angry after she found out her boyfriend wasn't being faithful. While he was in Kroger's, she apparently went through his cell phone and believed that he had been in an inappropriate relationship with her sister. His punishment, getting plowed down by her minivan. One of the more disgusting parts of this thing is that after she plows into these two people, her car was disabled. She exited the vehicle, leaving her eighth month old baby in the car and proceeds to go to her boyfriend and start beating him after he's been run over by this car. Griffin later died in the hospital from his injuries. His brother Greg told us he wants Chapman to pay. I'm just devastated by this and I want her to be punished for this. Chapman faces life in prison. Among her charges are child endangerment, murder, and attempted murder. Prosecutor Dieter is commenting what this woman did is sickening. I just don't understand why this had to happen at all. In downtown Cincinnati, Whitney Miller, WCPO 9 News. Wow, that was messed up, I'm going to tell you. Now, apparently, Mrs. Chapman, well, Ms. Chapman here, has a history of violence, you understand? The hammer thing with breaking her boyfriend windows out, you know, her ex-boyfriend windows out, whooping the kid with the belt. Now, as far as whooping with the belt, that's not, that's not a bad thing to an extent, but when you take your fist and punch the baby in the face, well, now we're getting into child abuse you know see um there's a lot of people out here that think that they don't have to uh control their tempers you know but it's in your best interest if you do you know uh, because if you don't you can find yourself in a lot of trouble in a world of trouble just like this young lady right here now more than likely <laughs> If it had have just been her boyfriend getting ran over, she might have just got probation, a fine, probably about maybe six months, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> uh, suspended, you know what I mean, and, and all that kind of shit. Maybe a little community service, right? But she killed a white man, you understand? And basically, this is the reason why they want to throw the book at her, you know? And as uh, far as I'm concerned, as they should, because she didn't have to do what she did here. Because she could have, it's a blessing from the Most High himself that, you know, the brother right here actually just came out of this with some bumps and bruises and a broken leg. He could have been killed himself. The way that damn van went up there and hit that, you know, the, 
stop sign right there with the block. You know, he went up on the hood, man, but wow, you know, that was a devastating hit right there, nevertheless. You know, I don't feel sorry for this young lady one bit, you know, because after she ran her boyfriend over and ran this man over, she had no regard for the life that she took thereafter. Her only thing was that she can get out that damn van and get over there to her boyfriend and inflict more damages on him, you know, and more than likely, even if she found you know, uh, her sister making inappropriate texts, you know, uh, texts with her uh, boyfriend, she wouldn't have did her sister that way. You know what I mean? See, what she was supposed to do was break up with her boyfriend. You understand what I'm saying? And uh, come up with arrangements for her boyfriend to take care of his child and move on with life. But now, see, you moving on with life in prison. You understand what I'm saying? And you're going to be in prison. You're going to stay in there, too. Now, I seen how troubled you looked, in, you know, when you were in court. You know, all that rage went to uh, worry. You understand what I'm saying? Sadness and, and all that. And <laughs> that lawyer that you got, nah, he's not going to sell. Um, you, you know, didn't mean, you know, to with intent to hurt anyone and then yes you did that shit right here on camera you understand what i'm saying your intent was to kill your boyfriend with that damn van you understand what i'm saying see so yeah you got yourself in a, a big mess my advice would be to you you know what i'm saying i know you didn't mean to kill the man the white man that was walking in there but that could have been anybody else other than white man it was anybody else when you look at it you see what I'm saying? But you took a life, nevertheless. You better repent and ask the Most High to forgive you. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully he has mercy on you for what you did. And that's just what it is. I'm serious. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the white man right here named Griffith, I think uh, Chapman, I think his last name was Chapman too. What's the chances of that? Both of her name and his name being Chapman last name that is you know bad situation man i'm telling you you know so lesson to be learned right here you know uh you know uh you catch a significant other and some shit you understand what i'm saying try to curb your enthusiasm to want to kill you understand what i mean it's for your own good because if you don't you can wind up in the same situation that this young sister right here is in. And it's not a good thing. Now, more than likely, her boyfriend and her sister, <laughs> if that's what was going on, what you think they're doing now? Huh? What you think they're doing now? I don't have to tell you that. I'm sure you know. I'm sure you've been thinking about all these things now. This shit, you probably so damn scared. You don't know what to do with yourself. You're in a world of trouble. You understand? So, like I said, the moral of the story is control your enthusiasm to want to kill. You understand? I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular story right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. This is James and O. Oh, people please remember to live your life as though we are being watched simply because we are this is james and i'm out peace